rubber banded watermelon experiment. That's a tongue twister. So you, I'm sure you guys have seen this. Uh, really, I almost cracked it, dude. Um, what we're doing was just taking these rubber bands and we're throwing it around the watermelon. Hopefully it doesn't snap us. And we're gonna see how many rubber bands it takes. For it to explode. For it to explode. So let's get started. Yeah, no, Vanessa, Vanessa showed me this, this post um, that she saw, I think, on LinkedIn, just about, like, shitty managers, and, like, I know times are probably strange right now with, like, COVID happening, and how it's just stressing people out, and you, you really just start to see the true colors of, kind of, who you work with, who's your manager. Yeah, my workplace definitely has shown their true colors during coronavirus. So, yeah, I mean, it, it I can be... I say where I work. It can be tough, though. So, I mean, it's, you know, if you're in that position, you know, just really kind of think about what you want to do. I mean, you know, because I think Vanessa and I were both in that position. I mean, I'm, I'm a manager of my own, you know, facility, but, you know, and I have my own team, but, you know, I still report to certain people and... You know, I still work for a certain company, but what what you really have to look at is this kind of like knowing that a company is going to do what's best for them. Yeah, in the end, it's all about the company. Yeah, so it's like as it, it, much devotion and, and loyalty that you have with you know some <clears throat> you know somebody your employee that you really enjoy. Are you okay there? Yeah, oh, you're. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> what you like? You know, like your employee, like you have this devotion you know or this commitment that you have and you know when things go wrong or when you have a manager that just doesn't treat you like they they did because of the situation it's like don't lose sight of yourself don't lose sight of what you want and, and what drives you and your motivation because the people that you work with are generally the people that you're with the majority of your day and if you're not having a good time with them then don't put yourself through that kind of stuff you know me so it's may is is as hard as it is to accept change and 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 want to or not and not really want to have that change. You know, it's important to find that happiness because we only got one shot at this. You know, and, and, and I'm talking about life. So, do you? You're the most important person in your life. I'm scared. So, but yeah. So Vanessa and I, we we. we <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh my god, what is that? Bumblebee? What is it, dude? Oh my god, it's a, what is that? Where is it at? It's up there. It's a dragonfly, bro. <laughs> Anyways, back to what I was saying, bro. <laughs> Vanessa and I started this, this this YouTube channel. Just, you know, something to do, you know, for fun to... You know, remind ourselves, you know, the things that we we like to enjoy. So, don't hesitate on trying to figure out what makes you happy. I don't think you should pull it so far apart. I got you. There you go. Look at that. Teamwork equals dream work. Except not when the person who is your teammate wants to work. Ah! <laughs> I 
<laughs> I told you it hurts. Damn, just gave me chills through the body. Another outlet working out, right? I mean, Vanessa's been on a nice workout run the last two years now. Her body's changed a ton. So if you're thinking about working out, do it, stick to it. You'll see the changes. It's just commitment, discipline. They say it like it's easy, but... I don't know. I feel like it's saved me from a lot of things. One, from like...
Keep going. Everything. Everything. Thanks for watching.